Before I start, I highly recommend watching the Parameter Pocket Stat video. You don't have to, but you'll get a lot more out of this video if you do. Alright, estimators. As statisticians, we have to translate ideas in the real world to the math world through statistical models. For example, I'm interested in understanding the average IQ of a YouTuber, so they're my population of interest. I'm going to model the randomness in the IQ with a Gaussian random variable, which we know to have two parameters. A mean parameter which controls the location of the peak of the PDF, and a variance parameter which controls the spread of the PDF around this peak. The central problem is that we fundamentally don't know what the true value of the mean is, since we can't fully observe the population. While I don't want to interview all YouTubers, I think I have enough energy to interview, say, 20 of them. What I'm doing is I'm collecting a sample of the population so that I can actually start collecting hard data. These people are still YouTubers, so intuitively, the data we gather from them should at least tell us a little bit about the true average IQ. The goal is to try to create a good guess about the population mean using the sample data. We call this process estimation, and our guess is what we call an estimator. We're trying to estimate the population mean, so it makes sense that we use the sample mean as the estimator. This idea of estimation and creating an estimator is very general. There may be other values of the population that I want to know about. The median, maybe the minimum and maximum. And for all these population level ideas, we're going to need estimators for all of them. Let's get these values straight. This is the population mean. It's unknown, but it's the thing we're trying to learn about. This is the sample mean. We gathered IQ data from 20 YouTubers and took the average. I have to stress that these two are not the same thing. One thing estimates the other. But is our estimate or guess good? It actually is, and the technical term is really freaking good. But what does it mean for an estimator to be good? Intuitively, if we gather more data and use it in an estimator, then our estimator should approach the true parameter more closely. By extension, if we gather an infinite amount of data, then the estimator should essentially lie on top of the parameter itself. This property is called consistency, and it was the source of many nightmares as a first-year biostatistics student. If an estimator isn't consistent, it's garbage and we should never use it. The sample mean is good for a lot of other reasons, but that's another video. This was a pocket stat on estimators, using the sample mean as an example. If you liked the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.